partnerships. It's an interesting concept. A lot of business owners today, you know, they may be hesitant about it or they jump in with both feet a little bit too soon, you know, without a lot of due diligence and consideration. So let's chat about why you would want one, how you might go about it and how you work out who is the right partner for you. Yeah, so I mean, if you're in business, I mean, most people default to not wanting to have a business partner. Yeah, correct. Um, and you know, so why would you want one? Mm. Um, I think to accelerate the the growth of the business. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, you know, if you if you're looking for a business partner, you want to probably get some complementary skill sets, not the same skill sets, yeah. but complementary ones. Mm. Uh, maybe complementary resources. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You know, everybody brings different resources to the table. Resources could be financial, there could be intellectual property, could be experience. Mm -hmm. um, so certainly, those are a few reasons why you would want to. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I know we're you know we're a good example of that. We have diff diff definitely different skill sets, and we bring different resources and our capability to work within the business. You got to like one another. That's that that's a benefit. Yeah, well, respect. Re respect, respect and like, yes, and understand what is each other's skill set and hold each other accountable. Uh, but I agree with you. Um, you know, business ownership is lonely enough as it is on your own. Uh, and if you're not part of a business community, like the Navigate community, having a business partner can be a, a sounding board, an accountability partner, those sort of things as well. And it helps you keep on track and helps you keep focused. But also, as you say, it's a scalability piece. Yeah, look, and um, for those people that say, well, I can never get away from a business, I can't get a day off, um, you know, again, that's an, another great re like lifestyle can be a reason to do that as well. So, you know, there's, there's a stack of reasons to want to have a business partner. That doesn't mean that if your business is going well, you should be rushing out and going and finding one, but you should also always be open-minded to what that might look like. You know, if you're looking to, maybe you're thinking about acquiring another business, um, and you're worried about what the cost of that acquisition might be, maybe merging two businesses is one way to do that. And yeah. so you end up with one larger business and you know, two very competent people running it because you know the other person's got the experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you know, then once you're selecting that partner, is go through and do a skills matrix. What are the mm -hmm. things that you are good at? What are the things that you like doing? Yeah. And then what are the shortfalls within that business? Yeah, and then the same for the partner coming in. What's theirs, and then you know, do the yeah. do their skill sets fill your gaps, and vice versa? Yeah. Uh, and and you know, are both parties willing to contribute? What is that contribution? How are they going to contribute? It might be more from one to the other, and maybe you're okay with that, or it might be equal. Yeah. But it's you know, really sitting down and looking at that, and having that good, robust conversation. And and communication, as with anything, communication is key. And uh, certainly with a business partnership, you need to make sure that you've got um, these recurring meetings where you can speak openly, candidly about you know, what you think that maybe an upcoming issue might be, mm. where you see any pitfalls. Um, but I mean, communication and oh, being open, critical. Like really, if it's on your mind, speak it so that you can go through yep. whatever it is. Yep. Um, because hey, it's like a marriage in a lot of ways. You know, like you've both got a financial interest in making sure that the business works. Mm. Um, and then multiple, like I'm in businesses, I have multiple partners in that. That's a different dynamic again. Yes. You know, so then you're dealing with, you know, maybe four, five, six different mm. points of view that you've got to try and meld in manage. for the betterment of the business. Yeah. So, you know, the communication is great. So, you know, start with one. It's one person, one business partner, and keep practicing and improving that communication. Yeah, and a, and a key piece that sits around that once that decision is made to move forward is actually document who's gonna do what. Yeah. It's the old position description, yeah. if you will, but it really puts a line in the sand as to who's gonna be held accountable for what. Yeah. Is one gonna be a CEO, one gonna be a managing director? What, you know, what is the role these people yeah. are gonna perform so that you can absolutely hold each other accountable and that there's no crossover and there's no confusion because clarity around that will be really critical for it to be successful. Yeah, mm. yeah, and I mean, if you're in a business right now and you know that you love the skill that's within that business, you just, you like, you know, whatever the skill set is that creates the product within your business, then the ideal partner for you may be someone that's got more of um, some business experience, maybe some financial experience, some office and some administration experience, mm. could be the perfect business partner for you. Indeed. So, you know, it's, a, it's an exploration, doing the due diligence and, and really just, you know, if there's a, there's a trial period, you know, find a way that uh, you can work out how to work together. And if it's not working, 
Yep. You need to own that and you need to have that conversation. Can it be resolved? Can you move forward? Or is there a way that's a, without damaging the business to you know, yep. pull it apart as well? You need to think about those exit um, ideas as well. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to grow any business, you know, just look to examples of other businesses yep. in your industry out there, particularly right at the top of that industry. What are the examples that you look to to say, well, hey, that company does that really, really well? Mm -hmm. High probability, if you look at the structure of that business, there will be more than one, one person yeah. that owns it, more than one yeah. person at yeah. the top. So, um, you know, the sooner that you can start to look at what that partnership might look like will be the sooner you can start growing your business. And scaling, and that's yeah. what it's all yeah. about, eh? Yeah.